The liberals are planning on creating a national school food program, and I don't know who needs to hear this, but if you are arguing against children being fed before going to school, you are on the wrong side of history. And the program should help to feed about 400,000 children per year. So once again, if you don't want 400,000 children to be fed, you are on the wrong side of history. Because surprise, surprise, Canada is the only G7 country that does not have a national school food program. Even the US does. So if you don't want children to be fed in school, you are on the wrong side of history. You might say, well, my school has a food program. It's not a federal program. There are some provincial, local, and charitable programs, but it is not national. So if you are arguing against children being fed in schools, you are on the wrong side of history. Because you can't simultaneously be complaining about inflation being high and making it hard to afford food, while also saying, why is it my responsibility to feed other people's kids? Because all that does is display a lack of empathy, and once again, you are on the wrong side of history. There is a reason why my classroom is always stocked with food. Because kids can't learn when they are hungry. And this school food program isn't even one that is being forced on them by the NDP. This is a campaign promise that the Liberals were hoping to get in place by 2024-2025. But yes, the NDP does support this. But go ahead. Explain and justify why you think that children don't deserve food. Explain and justify why you think that some kids deserve to be in the best conditions possible for learning while others don't. Please, I am waiting. I am all ears for that. And as you are trying to find the words to justify that, just remember, you are on the wrong side of history.